So thank you for coming to our master class. The design and our intention is that all of you have the possibility to see five devices. So we will have a rotational mode of action for the next two hours. That means we form small groups there will be no introductory lecture or something like that. That will, given, will be given with each device. We have a medical advisor who is coming from the subcom of transfusion and hemostasis. And we have uh, a representative of the company who will also introduce the device technically, quality assurance aspects, and so on. And my purpose is that you get as practical as possible. Almost all companies have prepared blood samples, activators, cartridges, cuvettes, whatever they need. And they've spiked it with different funny things to show you how coagulation abnormalities can look like on their machines. Okay. So, uh, my job will be to be the timekeeper and I will remind every group that the 20 minutes at the latest 24 minutes with every device will be kept so that the group then moves over to the next one. Okay, and I would be happy if you enjoy it, if you look at the devices that are interesting to you, that Hopefully, most of you will see all five devices, understand the strength and limitations of each device. And for me, now, it's say, let's start, have a good workshop, and find yourself together at s with small groups of the almost same size in front of each device, and then the medical advisors and our company colleagues will start their presentation. So, enjoy it. For the, for the tag, you know, the, the old tag is very sensitive to vibrations. It's very sensitive of how you put the cap and pin that uh, should be fixed very well on the instrument. And the amount of blood should be uh, not too much and not too, uh, too low. And for example, for rotten, that thing, okay, you can consider your results, but that effect is probably because the sample was too low. So the pipetting was not good, there was a layer drop inside the pipetting. So the sample dried up at that in the batch, getting this uh, huge amount of uh, inclusive stiffness. Okay, so we don't want this. We don't want to see that. So the future of point of care test or viscoelastic test uh, probably is cartridge based. You know that all the new devices that uh, are now available uh, in the market um, are cartridge based. Why? Because it helps us to avoid that manuality problem. Okay. It helps us to improve quality control because I, they are in build. The, the device run them by themselves. You can't just touch a button and say skip quality control because I don't have time to run in. It's not possible in It's just like you put your cartridge inside the machine and run the uh, run the test. What's the technology in this new device? It's based on uh, sonic estimation of elastic resonance. It's a kind of ultrasound hitting the blood and the blood starts to resonate. And the way that it resonates is transduced in a um, alteration of shear modulus. So the important thing is there is no contact between blood and moving parts of the device. Uh, we don't know exactly the significance of that, but probably we cannot assimilate it to physiological conditions. This is resembles more to physiological.